Hey guys, welcome back to another JavaScript tutorial video. Today we're going to be learning how to make a simple uh, clicker game in HTML, JavaScript, and maybe a little bit of CSS. We'll see what we get with that. But, um, yeah, so the first thing we want to do is uh, create a folder. And if you've been following along with the series, we've done simple on-click events and smooth movement controls. Today we'll do something a little bit more simple, just a simple clicking game. So we'll just name it click a game just like that and now let's add a new file to it to the folder and let's call it index.html let's go and actually create another folder inside of this clicker game and let's call it scripts just make everything neat and tidy and inside of that scripts folder let's create a main.js so adding the .js at the end uh, makes it into a javascript file now one thing i also want to get out of the way java and javascript are completely different uh coding languages java is like i'm pretty sure that's what they used to make minecraft i think and javascript is like web-based games it's not really 3d games you know you can get some applications to make a 3d but usually you can't we're just going to do the exclamation mark for now make everything look a bit neater and in the title tag here, uh, we can put the name of the clicker game. So we'll just call it clicker game, just like that. Now, with the title tag, that would just set the title of the web page. So if we had a look here, you can see where my cursor is at the top. It just says clicker game. If we were to then change that to like uh, my game. Then it would just say my game. So that's what title does. I just want to clear that up. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to reference our main.js. So we want to link it to the index.html because right now this HTML file doesn't know that we're linked or that we're going to be coding in this JS file. So how we do that is we go to script. We want to create a script tag and no, src. And then you want to do equal sign and then quotes. Then, because our JavaScript file is in the scripts folder, we want to go scripts slash main.js. And now we've linked it, so it will know that we're writing code in this one and we want to use that code. Now, it say your uh, main.js wasn't in another folder and your JavaScript file and your index.html file were both in the same folder then you wouldn't put the scripts here or the folder that it's meant to be in. You just leave it like that and then it'll still link it. But you just want to write the path of which it is in. So now that we've linked it, just to make sure, what we're going to do is we're going to console.log and we'll just go and do um, main.js loaded. And now if we go and press control shift i on the keyboard and it will probably bring you up in elements in this top tab here. You want to go over to the console tab and you will see there is a log in here from main.js line one saying that's loaded. So this is how we know that the HTML file is receiving code. Now, what we want to do is we can you can get rid of this or you can just leave it there. I'll just leave it here for now. Um, now that we know everything is connected and working, what we'll do is Let's just go on into the HTML file and create a button. So to do this, we just type the button, uh, the button tag, and then it should just, once you press enter, type button and everything, uh, it should just auto-complete it for you. If not, you're going to have to type it out yourself. Um, a lot of the, my previous viewers have been using uh, Notepad++. I would strongly recommend you get Visual Studio Code. And it just has auto completion for some of the code and it just makes things go a lot quicker than Notepad. Um, with that out of the way, let's just continue with this. So we've now created a button. Now you can see uh, nothing yet. <laughs> so th this is because we haven't given the button any text. So if we were to go here and we just gave it like uh, click me, something like that. And now we have a button that says click me. So now that we have that, we, we can see the button and everything. We can click it. Um, nothing happens. Even if we go into the console, check for errors. Uh, we're clicking it. Nothing's happening. So to make something happen, 
what we can do is we can uh, just go, we can probably change this name and we'll just say uh, add one, something like that, I don't know, just for placeholder for now. In your main.js, you want to go over to it and type function, this and then a uh, function and then we just do the name of the function. This can be anything, so we can just call it uh, add or something like that. And then you want to do the brackets and then, uh, not brackets, you want to do the parentheses and then the brackets. And what happens here is that we can call this function. So, yeah, I'm mainly talking to my previous viewers who are doing batch files. Um, if in batch files a function or this thing here would look would function very similar to uh, one of these ones, so it'd be like a uh, like add, you know, it would function very similar to one of these, and then like echo or whatever, like hello, you know, and that's pretty much what this function is. This you can call it and everything, and it wouldn't be like uh, go to and then add, it would be uh, add, and then you type the parentheses just like that. So, this is mainly just talking to my previous batch viewers. Uh, this is not to anyone who's following the tutorial, so just ignore that. Um, now that we have a function, if we still click this add one button, nothing's going to happen. So, what we can do is we can go to the button in our HTML file and we can make a command saying on click. So when the button is clicked, we want to, uh, so you want to type equals and then the quotes. And we want to go to the function called add. So that's what we want to do in there, add in our HTML file. So now that when we click this button, it's going to do whatever is said in this function. So just to make sure it works, we can console.log and do hello world. And now when we click this button, it says in our console, hello world. And it'll keep saying that as many times as we want or as many times as we press it. Pretty simple uh, command, but that's not really what we want for a clicker game. So we got a button working. We know it works. We know it's going to the function now. So that's a very simple command. Everyone should know. And that's how we go to a function with a button. So now let's get a little bit more complex if you're starting out. So we're going to create some variables. So I'm just going to create a tag here and say variables to make things a little bit neater. And we're just going to end that there. You don't have to do these tags. These are basically just comments for the code, coders, comments, whatever you want to call them. And now, to declare a variable, you can either do var, short for variable, and then the name of it could be like, uh, my, uh, variable equals, like, zero, or something like that. Now, that's one way to do it, or instead of var, you can just do let. Um, these are two ones, there's not much difference to the words them. Let my var equals zero, that declares a variable, so... Now if we were to go into our main.js and type my var, we can see that the variable has been created and it has a value of zero. So let's just do let to declare a variable, the name of the variable, and then what it equals, and then the value of, which, of what it equals. So now that we've got our variable, let's just actually change this to our clicks or something like that for the clicky game. Now what we want to do is when we click the button, we want to go to the function and we want to, let's just say, add one to the clicks. So to add one to the variable clicks, so to add like one score, like one plus score, then you would just do two pluses and you want to do this uh, end quote, not end quote, um, this semicolon here to kind of end it. It's not necessary, but it just makes the code look a little bit neater and go like 0 0.000 times faster. So. Um, now we can, uh, console.log, we just want to go console.log and write in the console the value of this variable. So we can do that by typing in the variable inside of there. And now what's going to happen is that when we add one, you can see the variable of clicks, how many times we've clicked it, adds. And the more we click it, the more it adds up. So that's pretty cool. So now... If we were to even uh, type in the variable ourselves, so clicks, um, we can see that the variable is 12. So 
that's something cool you can do. Uh, not complete yet. The game is not complete. We have a little bit to go. But now we know that the uh, we're adding plus one to the variable every time we click the function. So now that we've done that, we can just delete that console.log. And I reckon what we can do now is we can go into a HTML file. And let's go and type P. Press enter. And it should come up with one of these tags. We want to go ahead and give it an ID. So what I mean when we give it an ID is uh, pretty much just something we can reference it by. So if we didn't give it an ID, uh, uh, an, an ID then we wouldn't uh, know which paragraph to change or which text to change. So with this ID, we can uh, pretty much tell which paragraph is which uh, very accurately. So we'll give it an ID of click count just like that now that's the ID of the paragraph and now we can just do clicks Oop. clicks is zero for now and now you can tell that now we have this we can have the, we have this paragraph here and when we add one it's not showing how many clicks we've done so to fix this what we got to do is we got to go into our main.js and write in the function where we're adding plus one to clicks we want to reference this so click count so we go document dot get element by id make sure you do the capital letters as well it's very cap sensitive so then you want to do the uh, parentheses and you want to do in quotes the name or the id of that paragraph or the the p which is short for paragraph so we want to click count that's what we want to put in there then so now we've got it, so we want to do inner HTML to uh, tell that it is inside of the HTML. And we just want to set it to equal pretty much just, uh, uh, we can do clicks and computers lagging a little bit, that's a bit weird. So in our HTML, it's, this is what it says to begin with, clicks are zero. And if we were to just go, it equals uh clicks just like this then what's going to happen is that when we add one it's just going to delete that previous text and just say uh the value of it so what we'll do in here we'll go back into here and we'll just go and do uh clicks and we'll just pretty much write it the same way so we'll do that and then we want to put a space here we want to put a space there, something we have a gap there and then you want to put a plus sign and then clicks which is our variable and then we just end it with semicolons so now that we've got that going uh, we now can try it out and when we add it we, you can see where it shows us how many clicks that we have which is pretty cool in my opinion so now this is the most basic a clicker game can get. So we can just click this all day long, long as we want, and it shows us how many clicks, how many clicks we have got. So that's as basic as it gets. A basic, simple game that you can do. Um, in the next episode, we'll be spicing things up. Same code, same everything, and we'll just be making things spicier. We'll add multiplication so that we can upgrade our how many clicks we get and stuff like that. Stuff like that will add upgrades to the game. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like and a new video should be coming out shortly.